Morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician. Uh, continuing on with my series on peptides, I just did a very quick intro to thymus and beta-4. Today I'm going to con continue on and talk a little bit more about it. So um, I'm going to go through uh, some of the, the beneficial properties of it. So uh, we talked about wound healing and uh, eliminating scar formation. It's also very neuroprotective. It has a lot of beneficial effects in the brain, the myelin, uh, the axons in the brain, protecting it from injury, healing it from injury. Another cool thing is that it's very immuno immunoprotective, provides a massive amount of immune support. Uh, T cell support too, so that's why it works really well with thymus and alpha. Is that it, it, it balances out that immune system and boosts our immune system, protect, protect us against uh, illness, kind of regulates things, kind of gets things back in it into balance again. And a lot of people, especially with if you're ill, uh, illnesses or autoimmune conditions, and balancing out these T cells is massively helpful. So it can provide a, a definite help there. As I mentioned before, it, it can decrease scar formation. So TB4 can be used, and there's a, a couple cool products out there that we can use it topically with a couple other peptides. Uh, to help reduce scar formation, whether it's from a major surgery, an injury, an accident, or a cosmetic procedure, um, but also useful systemically as, a, as an injection to overall help with us um, healing and healing of wounds and things of that nature. But there's a lot of cool local applications to eliminate scar formation. So those people that are looking for uh, having a procedure done or something you want to get rid of that scar or make it look better, there's some cool things we can do there. So obviously in my office, I use uh, lasers and, and other topical products, PRP, uh, stem cells and things of this nature. but uh, some of these cool peptide combinations, TB4, with some, especially in the combination of some of the other topical peptides I use, can really help this alone or in combination with the other things too. As I mentioned before, it's about healing and cytoprotection and angiogenesis. In other words, it grows new blood vessels, and again, it's part of bringing those healing tissues to the area of the wound. So, and again, it's not just wounds, it's, it's very useful. It's used a lot for injuries. You know, people have tendon injuries, tendon tears, tendonitis, uh, muscle injuries, uh, tears, strains, sprains. Uh, ligament injuries. Uh, it can be even useful for bones. So that's probably the biggest thing that I've used it for is for healing. I've used it for myself. Uh, there's a, a well-known uh, ex-professional bodybuilder who I've treated in the past with TB4 and BBC for a, a bad injury. Within a month or two, he was almost completely healed up. He was amazed. So um, uh, so check out his, uh, his Instagram page. Gave a shout out about that. But I used it mostly for healing, uh, certainly for wounds as well. Um, all these other beneficial properties. So as I mentioned, it's a G-actin sequestering peptide. So as I mentioned in the last video, it upregulates actin and migration of healing and support cells to the area that it's needed. So again, the biggest thing we use it for is wound healing, uh, muscle tendon, ligament injury healing, and collagenate, collagenesis, whew, I can say that five times fast, basically increasing collagen production, right? So helpful for, uh, again, all the joints, arthritis, and things of this nature. And part of that, as I mentioned before, is anti-inflammatory. It, it decreases the amount of inflammatory cytokines, something like your tumor necrosis alpha, uh, nuclear factor, kappa beta, some of these other, other inflammatory cytokines that can reduce that. And again, of course, that's helpful for the, the, the healing process. It, first couple of days, of course, we want inflammation, we want that healing, but later on, we want to decrease that and, and enable that wound healing to occur. So again, thymus and beta, uh, I'm going to put a cool, inf a little quick infographic that I borrowed from the International Peptide Society. Shout out to them as well for some of the information provided here, um, but basically I'll go over dosing uh, on the next slide. But basically, uh, it's variable as with all things. So typically we start about 300 micrograms per dose once or twice a day. Uh, the biggest thing with uh, thymus and beta is because it's not really a growth promoter per se, um, but because of the benefit, because of the way that it acts and in terms of the healing properties, we don't, you don't want to dose it for more than a couple months at a time. So uh, some people say two, three months. I go six to eight weeks and then I stop it. And you can cycle it with other with other runs. Uh, stop it for you know a month or two and go back on if needed. So 300 micrograms all the way up to a milligram at a time, typically once or twice a day. It's a sub-Q injection. And you can combine it with thymus and alpha, with BPC, with any of the other peptides. It plays well in the same box with others, right? So uh, typically that's a simple dose. It's typically given sub-Q. There are some products, as I mentioned, that it combines it topically with some other things which, as well, uh, you, it, which it can be used topically. Uh, as well. Um, not as much, it's more the, the, the GH copper and uh, AOD and BPC, but TB4 is typically, and I correct myself earlier, but uh, I think they're working on a topical preparation now, typically given sub-Q um, as of right now. So uh, and that's typically the doses, but again, very important, you know, cycle off. You don't want to be taking it continuously throughout the year. Um, use it for maybe six to eight weeks and take a break. Um, so an amazing peptide. I've used it on myself. I use it on many other patients. Works very, very well. So check out my next video, guys. I'm going to talk, uh, continue on talk about another peptide and, and many, many more. If you have any questions, anything you want to learn about, about healing, regeneration, uh, longevity, uh, fitness, um, hormones, peptides, reach out to me. Let me know what you want to hear about. Uh, it's almost Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. So everyone enjoy your week, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.